this is the domain of this function and this is the core domain of this function. Hello everyone, so I'm going to describe the functions in this video. Functions on sets. So there's a difference between an algebraic function and a function of sets. So first let me give you an example of what the algebraic function can actually mean for a number of input elements. For example, we have defined an algebraic function f of x which has a domain x and for example, we have mentioned that x can be an integer and we have said that f of x is defined as x square. And let me give you an example. So for example, I say that x is only these elements 1, 2, 3, 4 and f of x which is defined as x square can be written like the the square of 1 would be 1, the square of 2 would be 4, the square of 3 would be 9 and square of 4 will be 16, right? So what I'm doing is I'm actually saying that let me define two sets. One set is 1, 2, 3, 4 and let me define another set B as 1, 4, 9 and 16. So instead of defining the function which makes a relationship from set A to B, instead what I'm doing is I'm defining the elements of A which are related to elements of B. So every element in A has a direct relationship to the elements in B. Set functions are defined in such a way that you have the relationship of some element, uh, an element of some set to the elements of another set. So now let's get to the functions in set. So we call them set functions and formally they are defined as f is a function from a to b and we write it like f a to b, right? A relation from A to B is a subset of A cross B, which is the Cartesian product, right? So Cartesian product of these two sets, these two sets, which would that be? A cross B for these two sets will, would be 1 comma 1, 1 comma 4, 1 comma 9, 1 comma 16, right? Then 2 comma 1, then 2 comma 4, etc. So our function is only taking out this relationship and this relationship and there would be some other like 3 comma 19 uh, sorry 3 comma 9 and there would be another one 4 comma 16. So our our function takes out only four elements of this cross product and we define it as a new set. So that new set would definitely be a subset of this cross product, right? Or Cartesian product. So this is what a relationship is. A graphical representation of a function can also be written in such a way that, for example, we have a number of students like, let's draw a dot in front of all of these. And there is another set of grades for example we have defined grades as a b c d and f and we were to assign grades to each student so for example this one gets an a this one gets an a this one gets a b this one gets a c and this one gets an f and no one no one gets a d grade so this is assignment of grades for different students and this is a function of set of students this is set of students and this is set of grades, right? So this would be the function from set of students to set of grades in which we have defined relations of elements of the first set to the elements of second set. So now if a function f from a to b is defined, we say that a is the domain of f and b is the co-domain of f. So this is another way we remember these two sets. We can say 
that this is the domain of this function and this is the core domain of this function these are other names for this and uh, this function in this context is also known as a mapping or transformation because it transforms all the elements of the initial set to all the uh, to some or all the elements of the second set now we have different types of function the first type is called one to one functions one to one functions are those functions which by the way there's another name for one to one which is injunction so one to one function or injunction is when you have like a certain uh, set of elements so for example we have a b c d e and we have you know one two three four five six this is the domain and this is the codomain and uh, these elements are mapped or there's a relationship from each of these to each of the codomain so this is like this this may be like this and this is let's say like this so we say that this function is one to one so what makes this function not one to one so by definition if f of a is equal to f of b in one to one if and only if a is equal to b that means a function from a to 2 can only exist for a and 2 and for none of the other uh, you know elements so for example if this was the case that instead of this line we had this function so now what is happening f of b is equal to 4 f of e is also equal to 4 so b and e are not equal but 4 and 4 are equal so this cannot be possible right so this is not an onto function but previously when this was the case this was an onto function so multiple input elements you can say this is for example the input side and from this is the output side multiple input elements cannot map to the same output element if you want to keep it one to one function or an injunction you can also say that this let's say this is a this is b that a is injunctive on b right this is another way of saying the same thing right so there is another type which is called onto functions onto functions are exactly the example that i just gave and that is like for example we have the domain of a b and c and we have have the codomain of 1 and 2 and for example you have this relationship so now this will be an onto function so onto functions the function is defined as uh, also called the surjection if and only if for every element that belongs to b for example these are elements and this is set b this is set a for every element b that belongs to b there is an element in a that belongs to the set a with f of a equal to b here you can see the example uh, different examples of different types of sets for, for example this is a function where one to one and there is no on to relationship because all the elements of b should also be covered if it is going to be an onto function this is one to one function why because every element is mapped to a distinct element on the other side so a is uh, related to 3 b is related to 4 c is related to 1 there is not an element on the output side which has multiple mappings of the input side similarly this is an example of an onto function but this is not a one to one relationship why because of this mapping of a and d to 2 so both the elements a and d are being mapped to element 2 which makes it an onto function because all the elements are covered here all the elements are covered here but this element 2 is being uh, mapped twice from the input side this example is one to one and onto all the elements are covered from the input side and from the output side which makes it an onto function and all the relationships are distinct a is mapping to 4 b is mapping to 1 c is mapping to 3 d is mapping to 2 this example is that the this function is neither one to one nor onto why because you have an element left out here that makes it not an onto set so that this is not an onto function because 
फोर इज लेफ्ट आउट सिमिलरली टू ऑफ दीज एलिमेंट आर मैपिंग टू द सेम आउटपुट एलिमेंट विच कैन नॉट कीप इट वन टू वन फंक्शन सो दिस फंक्शन इज अ वैलिड फंक्शन बट इट इज नाइदर वन टू वन नॉर अ नॉन टू रिलेशनशिप so this is an example which is not a function at all why because a is mapped to two different outputs so this is not a valid function because for one input you are getting two outputs so if this makes it easier to understand with respect to inputs and outputs every input should map to one output or multiple inputs can map to one output but if a single input is mapping to two outputs this makes it an invalid function this is not a function at all So I hope you like this video uh, subscribe for notifications and comment if you have any questions